Greetings, mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun, it's day 12 evening. And dusk has arrived, everything seems peaceful. So what have I done? I put a few extra buildings down, a few extra defences down, and I've put a Cullis Gate. A Cullis Gate now exists with a makeshift lightning rod. The lightning rod will absorb the lightning strikes when it starts exploding, and we should last a little bit longer. I've also kept on pushing this way, as you can see. That will seal that area off, and then we need to push on this way. So we have a oh, third of the map. The enemy has two thirds of the map, and death is inevitable. How was your day? So yeah, we have a lot of stuff going on. Uh, an awful lot of stuff going on. Look, we have a lot of dogs. Viola Wong burned to death. Oh no, Viola Wong, why, where, how? Wait, that would have been my only maintenance... Nope, my maintenance person's still alive. I have one of them. Who burnt to... <sighs> they burnt to death on the front line, didn't they? Yeah. Trying to fix stuff. It was safe until my golems attacked a building. Yep. <sighs> Who did we lose? Did we lose? We lost a miner. Lost a miner? Why was a miner on the front line? Yeah, we have a makeshift maintenance building, so now we are actually maintaining. Like, oh god. Oh well, they're dead. Yep, immediately dead. So yeah, we have another one of these going on. We actually are expanding more. As you can see, we are trying to keep it growing. Keep it growing, keep it going. Okay, so the enemy isn't going to attack because it's a peaceful night. Of course, we'll still get attacked if we wipe out their buildings. And we are still expanding the wall, as you can see, the Crylithium Wall. Obviously, the more of that we get rid of, the better. Let's do that to there. Now, we have this, which I can now start dropping enemies into. It's not going to be the best situation. It'll be okay for now. We have this, so I can actually start expanding. We need a little bit more going on. Kind of. Obviously, we have a maintainer now maintaining. We didn't get any nomads in the last two days, I think. Which is a bit of a problem. But there you are, again. There we are. Now, because it's daytime, I mean, because it's a full moon, there should be a ghost of a certain person who just recently died wandering around somewhere. Or it may have died a little bit too late. But yeah, ghosts usually hang around during this kind of time. The full moons, you have to look for them. Unfortunately, it's hard to spot them. World safe 88, my god. I keep booting the game up too often. Okay, there we are. So that gives us another building. So yeah, I just want to make sure this area is safe. Prioritise that. Because the enemy is pushing through. We do need to make sure they don't come through. This area here is secondary, honestly. Now we have a lot of Crylithium being made. I actually have three people in the... Uh, crystallary. No, two people in the crystallary, three people mining it. So we have plenty of resources. Okay, let's see if this actually works. The problem is the massive strikes this thing will do, because, you know, fire and all that, it's going to start scaring people. But yeah, as you can see, lightning strikes hitting the makeshift lightning rod. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So what's going to happen is when the attacks get too strong, I'm going to step in. Obviously that means I'm going to be outside this. It's going to be a little bit slow because obviously things get very, very slow when a lot of things are happening. I just put a construct down rather than a repair. Of course I did. Let's mend. But yeah, the lightning rod, obviously, things take do less damage. Is that repair? That's, that's resurrect. I don't want resurrect. What's wrong with me? 
Just wasted a thousand energy. Absolutely wasted a thousand energy. Now, if that had gone properly, that repair would have repaired both of those buildings, and I'd have gotten thousands of energy, as opposed to wasting it all because I'm a muppet. Absolutely useless. Absolutely useless. Okay, still got time for this. Go back, carry on building. So, food is still a bit low, water is, is holding. Electrical storm. Oh, electrical storm, that'll be useful. So yeah, the rod is absorbing all electrical damage. Obviously it doesn't absorb much, but it is absorbing it. It takes damage every time, which is why I've got a second one. But that's not finished. Like I say, luckily I can just drop anything. I can drop anything into it. Living, dead, all sorts. Of course, I have been dissolving the world a little bit, so there's very little left of it. Very little at all left of it. But we're day 12, we're doing okay. Oh dear. That's going up. So yeah, we have a few lights going on. Actually, before the full moon's over, is the ghost here? Can you see a ghost, people? I mean, it doesn't really help me if you see it, because then it's a little bit late for me. But do you see a ghost? I don't see a ghost. I see a ghost! Viola Wong. Welcome back. You died, and you live again. You live, you die, you live again. Well, I guess it gave me a lot of experience. Oh, sorry, that's giving me experience. How's water doing? For some reason, my people don't like putting water in the place. Yeah, there we are. And obviously, when this is actually useful, you have to drop significant amounts of enemies into it. You have to be able to basically overload it a lot so you can repair it. And when that stage happens, obviously then you need to keep on overloading it because you've wasted 800 energy. It works. It works really well. Of course, you need to make sure you're constantly overloading at that stage. As you can see, this is already fully repaired. This is already back to two thirds. So a big, big strategy is having this here. Why is summer so long? Still being repaired. Obviously, I do have maintainers as well. Like a little bit of damage, who cares? I can just let it go. The big problem, of course, is it scares people. Which is why you don't really want it directly on the front line. Because obviously, then your munitions don't go to the towers. But unfortunately, it's somewhere temporary because we're going to get spectres very, very soon. Like, exceedingly very soon. Okay, let's get a trash up. That's still going. Huh, alright. As you can see here, this is still going along nicely. So once the wall is done, we'll be very secure. I should be about to be here, yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to make a note, keep an eye on that one. Dead golems and zombies everywhere. So, the main issue we're going to have is about 20 days in. If we survive long enough, 20 days in is going to be our main issue. Why is there still no wood being given? We actually might need more woodcutters. We're having some, yeah, we're having a serious woodcutter issue. 
I know they're getting a little bit far away from the camp, but still, come on guys, do your job. Yeah, just loads of it not making it. Even the Fletchers are helping out, that's never a good sign. Okay, upgrade that next, that's actually completed. Upgrade that as well, that is completed. Upgrade you to the next tier, upgrade you to the next tier. I agree with you. Yeah, there's loads of buildings just waiting to be finished. So the three stone golem combobulators. Now that'll give me an extra one, that'll give me an extra one. That's good. More golems, of course. Very needed. Nomads! Yes! Okay. We're going to put a couple more people on woodcutting duty because apparently we've just not got enough. Where are they? Oh, 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 that's a lot. Oh. Child, fine. One, two... Three adults, that's four adults, five adults, six adults? That's a lot of adults, we need more houses now. That's an awful lot of adults, we don't have the houses. Okay, fourth person, actually four there, get another one here. Get a fifth for the water. Okay, that's good. Another maintainer. And another organiser. So we have four farmers, five people gathering water. Don't even water in the farms. They're using clean water? Little sods. There we are. Okay, good. So we have water, we have food, just, we'll work on that later. It's not the biggest priority currently during this war. The front line is... Prioritise the ballista, I'd like it very much a second ballista up and running. The walls are still coming on nicely, lots of combat. The amount of fire elementals we're pulling from defences suggests fire elementals are on the cards. The cards are not kind. In fact, they're cruel. Cruel mistresses. Okay, make sure Forge still going. Actually, let's start making money. Let me just build a market. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. I'm very annoyed these two things got built first. But if I load back in, it does keep changing it back. Of course, after our defences are online, we can actually start pushing forwards. That's the next big goal. What is a maintainer? Sorry, I just took your job from you. I apologise immensely. It's your fault, though. Let's upgrade that, actually, as well. Fire bullet, fire bullet, fire bullet. Ice bow, ice bow. Makeshift bow tower. Okay, established bow tower already? Ice bow. Okay, we looked like... Wait, really? Oh, wow. Wait, we've dropped. No, we didn't. Just hasn't counted them yet. End of the day. Look at the amount of... of earth everywhere. Okay, this actually prioritised. I'll start dying. We need both of these. Dehydration. Yep. Okay, we actually need a third one then. <sighs> Prioritise it. Very much prioritise it. Someone died, so we have to go get them back. Who died? Please don't tell me it was a water guy. Who died? Ah, a lumberjack died. Of course a lumberjack died. Probably one of the new ones. And all we're getting is loot boxes. There's no keys anywhere. 
Okay, this is, needs to be done. More water the merrier. Should have had the third one up ages ago. Should have been on our fourth one, actually. Used to ballistas operational. There's a lot of spectres being pulled out of buildings as well. Hmm. It's a nice system of just clearing away crap. Perfect. Done. Of course, like I say, that is now in the way of where our weaponry goes. So that's a problem. And this, this is not building. Come on, build faster, guys. actually having issues with wood. We really are. Just not getting enough. But everything needs it. The Cullis Gate is still taking damage. Has it calmed down yet? No. Okay, now it has. So yeah, during combat I'll be doing that a lot, which means combat will be a bit slow and probably zoomed out. And because I'm having to zoom out, more entities on the screen, which means even slower. Damn, it's everywhere. Food's getting to come an issue. That's yeah, we'll solve that soon. Many of the doggos killed by a zombie. Thoughts and prayers probably won't fix this one. Probably, but mm. Okay, they can't actually get through, it's just stuck there. Okay, I need to motivate the land. And that should seal off that area. Oh god, zombie doggo! still sealing off. This is still an issue. There's still a hole in the wall, guys. Definitely goes right to left when they build stuff. Wish I'd known that earlier. Isn't that also a dwarf fortress? That left to right of dwarf fortress. I can never remember. How are we doing? That's still not pushed in enough. We have to put the next one in soon, though. Lightning rod is now upgraded. So next tier is established. Obviously, the more lightning rods, the faster and the easier things are. God damn it, guys. They're still trying to destroy this over here. Ah, oh, dear. Yeah, got plenty of defenders, got stuff going on, water's an issue, it's getting better. Okay, that's nearly done. Then it's houses. Maybe the person who died of dehydration was um, unhoused. They don't actually drink if they don't have a house. I don't actually have anywhere for them to drink. I was going to go build a, a well and stuff, but I didn't, so they don't. That would give us another area for water.
Okay, how are we doing? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we have to go put a, put a basic wall up here because they're not building it in time. Ah, oh, useless. Useless. Bloody, bloody useless. Come on. Come on. Yes, good. I can't be going too fast right now. We'll have to upgrade it again, but it's extra water. Okay, make, make sure bow towers up and running. Is a bake shift there? This wall's done nearly. Okay, how are we doing? It looks like fine. Maybe? I don't know. I do not know. We never did find that dead person either. God, look at this. And that's why we're stopping them from going down the side. In fact, yeah, while we have it, let's finish this off. Because they're very much still pushing towards us. They've still got an entire forest to destroy, though. There's the earthquake. Anyone see the tremor lines? Ah! That's almost useful. That's a rarity. The game was nice to me. Screw you, Ray. I'm still living and you're not here to stop me. Anyway, I'm going to quickly uh, zoom to the night. So, yep, we do now have spectres moving and not just ones from destroyed buildings. Spectres are finally arriving. So we just start dealing with that. So, yeah, a lot of my night first couple of nights we actually get the rest of the defences up and running will be me doing this. Which, as you can imagine, isn't the most exciting. But obviously if I cut it all out, there will be nothing for like four more days. However, we are getting in. And we've actually, I've actually been sacrificing dozens of enemies. Look, see that there? Spectre. Also, it's a blood moon. Which means blood slimes will be dropping from the sky. So yeah, with the... Uh, advent of the spectres and this entire wall not fully up to code <coughs> code yet we do need to finish it off fire elementals too that's not a good sign fire elementals requires to put out more range oh well be fair I don't want you to die But yeah, as long as the lightning rods exist, you know, we can just keep on going. So this is literally my pit of death. It'll keep us going for probably day 20. It does, however, mean the nights are a little bit slow. And there's the blood moon. Yeah, as you can see, a lot of enemies are appearing now. It does, however, mean we also need to finish off our defensive wall because the spectres, of course, can just fly over it. Not all of it, just bits of it, but they still can fly over it. And look at that, another 800. Oh, don't, don't be a dick game, come on, that's an 800 and you denied me by like a few inches. Destroying my life. There we go, drop this down. Yeah, as you can see, it's very effective. And it's more effective as long as you can keep it going. Once you run out of essence, it actually, you know, once you run out of monsters to drop, it basically implodes, because then you can't keep on repairing it. Which is a big one. Yeah, my night will be slow now. Oh, that was a save, I hope. Yep, 
Yeah, there's actually literally no downside to this. It's a very easy strategy. Obviously, you want it near the front line so you can use it. You don't want it to the point where it's literally next to your munitions. Because obviously right now, none of my turrets at the front are being armed. In reality, I'd rather have it in this corner over here, but I was still expanding. I didn't want Spectres to want to go to it. So eventually, we're going to move it. Yeah, but until that point, this is my life. Very, very effective. It's like super effective. It's insane how effective it is. Obviously, if you put too many in at once and don't repair it fast, you're going to have to do something about it, but yeah. We got down to a thousand, we're already back up. That's what I'm saying, as long as you have critters, you can just keep going. Obviously, you really want to drop only spectres into it, because they're the ones who give you the most energy. Oh god, it is having trouble. But yeah, anyway, I've been the Fallen Shogun, this is my night. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys are being epic. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me every month. You guys are epic. Thanks to people who watch every day. You guys are amazeballs. And I will see you next time. Ooh, look at that power going down. And then straight back up. Screw you, Matt Monsters. You are my battery. <laughs>